Want a business you love that pays you well? Want a lifestyle where you can do what you want, when you want? Then you are in the right spot. It's time to overcome online overwhelm with OnlineMasterPlanSeries.com. Here's your host and one of the OMS mentors, Laura Wage. Heather, do you have a productivity hack that you can share with us that you really leverage to stay on track each and every day? Yes, and this is actually quite a simple one, but when I started doing it, I was quite a, a couple things actually happened. My emotions benefited from it, and I'll explain that in a moment, but also my productivity. And that is that I only check social media twice a day. I check it in the morning and then I check it at the end of my day. So I basically just stay up to date and I, I look at what's going on on my own accounts, but also just sort of in my news feeds as well. Now, when I started doing that, a couple things happened. So when I say emotionally, I think that there's this huge thing that happens on social media where we constantly compare ourselves to other people. Because, you know, let's face it, when you're posting things on your own social media accounts, you're going to post it through the, the happy, lovely, friendly filters, you know, like, oh, I had a great day or this or that. There's very few of us that actually say, I, you know, I had a shit day and <laughs> excuse my language, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're not honest with yeah. it. So if you are sitting there spending your day when you're meant to be productive and you're looking at all these other posts and you're comparing yourself and you're thinking, I am so unsuccessful. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm such a fraud. Look at all these other people that are doing better things than me. You're going to get in this really bad mindset and you're not going to be productive. So when you space it out into two chunks a day or even one or whatever works for you, then you've cleared out that space for the rest of the day to do what you need to do in your business. You used a very powerful word, and I don't even know if you realized it, but you used the word fraud. Uh -huh. And I hear so many people say that when they see what other people are doing, they do feel like a fraud. They feel like they are not, you know, as big as somebody else or as glorious as somebody else. And one thing that I always share, especially with my clients, is that there will always be people further along on the journey than you are people that you aspire to be at their level always always and and, and, and there will behind you as exactly well. and there will always be people behind you that aspire to be at your level and mm -hmm. i think part of what makes um our entrepreneurial world go round is understanding that you will always have a place in the middle and i've shared this with you many times before but my favorite quote is from maya angelou that says when you learn, teach, and when you get give. And and to me, it's always that reminder that um, that I'm on a journey and there's people ahead of me and people behind me, but I have a role, a very important role in my journey, as does everybody else that's on theirs. And we all have a different journey and we've all come from somewhere different. We all have different skill sets and levels of expertise because of just the way we've lived our life. So in and of that self, it means that you are an expert at something that somebody else is not. And so whatever that is, you just use that as a starting point if you are just getting started. That's it for this episode. Don't let your next promising idea stop dead in its tracks because your overwhelm gets in the way. You need our free tips. Head on over to OvercomeOnlineOverwhelm.com now.